In the modern world, there are people coming up with inventions and adaptations to previous designs in an almost unprecedented scale. It is almost impossible for us to imagine a world without internet or a motorized vehicle, for example. But what if we were to tell you that our modern technology is still not enough to understand the ancient artifacts left behind on this earth by civilizations thousands of years ago? These are our six insane major discoveries rediscovered that we struggle to comprehend in modern times. Just wait till you hear this. At number six, the Rosetta Stone. In 1799, the French army was marching through Egypt. This was a military invasion, but Napoleon had his eye on more than just land. With the army were 167 scientists and artists who were sent to explore and examine relics of an ancient culture. Their greatest discovery came by chance. A troop had made its way to the town of Rosetta where they prepared to build a fort. One soldier dug up an old stone slab and was using it to build a wall when his lieutenant noticed some strange writing in three languages on the stone. The lieutenant had the stone sent to the Institut d'Egypte, Napoleon's scientific base. They identified the languages as Greek, Egyptian hieroglyphic, and Demotic. Using their knowledge of Greek, teams worked for years translating the Rosetta Stone and uncovered the key to translating Egyptian hieroglyphics. It was deciphered in 1822 by Jean Francisco Champollion. Without the Rosetta Stone's discovery, Egyptian hieroglyphics would have been completely untranslatable. In at number 5 on our list, the 1700 year old seal from a Japanese emperor. In 1784, a rice farmer in Japan was trying to repair an irrigation ditch. As he worked, he noticed something shiny lodged between two rocks. When he dug it out and washed it off, he was holding a seal made of pure gold. The farmer brought it to a local scholar who realized that the seal was a legendary relic gifted by Emperor Guangwu of Han to a Japanese emissary during the first state meeting between China and Japan in AD 57. The seal was also the first time that the Japanese had seen Chinese characters, which were later adopted into the kanji script that Japan still uses today. In at number 4, King Tut's Tomb. Archaeologist Howard Carter would not have found King Tut's tomb if not for the pure dumb luck of his water boy. Carter had already spent years searching unsuccessfully for a tomb rumored to be in the area. But it was going so poorly that his funding was to be cut off in a few more months. With him, though, was a boy whose only job was to fetch water. Bored, the water boy started playing with a stick in the sand when he stumbled upon a stone step. He told Carter, who rushed over and started digging. It took 22 days for Carter and his men to trace their way down the steps and through the sealed door at the bottom. But when they did, they discovered a massive tomb full of more gold and treasure than any found in all of Egypt. All thanks to a bored water boy. Crazy, right? In at number three, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Back in 1947, a group of Bedouin herders went looking for a lost goat. Their search took them through a cave that hadn't been explored in a long time. There, they unexpectedly found jars filled with ancient manuscripts. The herders had no idea that they had stumbled upon the Dead Sea Scrolls, manuscripts of the Old Testament that would prove to be one of the biggest discoveries in history. The herders grabbed the jars, brought them into town, and sold them to a trader for $60. As the manuscripts were passed around, some of them were sold in the U.S. for $250,000. Realizing what they had found, the herders changed professions. They started working with archaeologists and helped them find 981 ancient texts that became major study tools for scholars. This time, the herders earned a hefty $300,000 each for their work. The significance and importance of the Dead Sea Scrolls are the single most historically important documents ever discovered in the history of humanity. At number 2, Durinkyu Underground City. The rocky landscape of Turkey's Cappadocia region is home to dozens of underground cities that were once hand carved from volcanic ash by their ancient inhabitants. One of the most elaborate of these subterranean metropolises is Durinkyu, which contains 18 stories and enough space to house some 20,000 people. Dating back 10,000 years BC, 
it is just stunning and almost impossible to comprehend. Amazingly, the site was only discovered as recently as 1963, when a local man knocked down a wall while renovating his home and uncovered a passageway leading to a vast network of stone tunnels and chambers. Experts are still unsure who built Durinkiyu or when, but excavations have found that it once housed its own meeting halls, shops, freshwater wells, stables, and even heavy stone doors to protect its residents from danger. Why this site was built is a complete mystery, but one thing plain to see, and that is the industrious scale in which it exists. It is one of the true marvels from the ancient world. And at number one on our list, Lascaux Cave. In September 1940, four French teenagers were roaming the forest near Montanac when their dog began sniffing around a mysterious hole in the ground. After shimmying down a stone shaft, the boys encountered a vast underground cavern whose walls were adorned with some 2,000 ancient paintings and engravings. The astonished teens initially agreed to explore the grotto in secret, but they later sent word of the find to their school teacher, who persuaded a cave expert to verify its authenticity. Before long, word of the Lascaux Cave's exquisite collection of animal drawings and abstract symbols had spread across Europe and the world, and it became known as the Sistine Chapel of Prehistoric Art. Historians later placed the age of its paintings at around 25,000 years old, and many believe the cave was once the site of religious and hunting rites among Upper Paleolithic peoples. The natural preservation of this site has proven to have been complete luck. Unfortunately, it has faded by lighting and a black fungus is growing rapidly. The cave has been completely sealed as of 2008. With millions being spent on research, it should be saved by experts. We thought this video would not be complete without one notable surprise selection for all of our subscribers who actually take the time to watch our videos right through. This bonus selection is one of the most obvious selections. Wait till you hear this. The Xi'an Terracotta Army. In 1974, a group of Chinese farmers chanced upon the discovery of a lifetime, the tomb of the first emperor of the Qin Dynasty. The seven-man team was digging a well near the city of Xi'an when one of their shovels struck the head of a buried statue. The men initially thought they had discovered a bronze bust or an ancient Buddha sculpture. But when archaeologists conducted further excavation, they found it was one of some 8,000 life-size terracotta soldiers, horses, and chariots constructed to guard the 3rd century BC Emperor Qin Shi Hong in the afterlife. The tomb and its highly detailed soldiers, each has its own unique face, are now regarded as the most important archaeological treasure in all of China. Doesn't that just blow your mind or what? So that's it for now guys. Those were our major discoveries that were accidentally rediscovered. If you like this video then please let us know below and remember to give it the thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching and remember. The ways by which we arrive at knowledge are hardly less wonderful than the discovery of these things themselves.